Respected Kim Jong Un, first Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, first Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, guided the test firing of the newly developed anti-tank guided weapon on the spot. He was accompanied by Vice Marshal of the Korean People's Army, Hwang byung so Director of the General Political Bureau of the Korean People's Army, and the senior officials of the Pardon Army. The test firing was aimed at assessing the flight control and heat of the portable laser-guided anti-tank rocket and the might of the focusing and thermal pressure warheads of the rocket. Kim Jong-un guided test firing after learning in detail how the national defense science research sector and factory concerned have solved the issue on extending the range and carried out the task on increasing the armor penetrating capacity of the focusing warhead and raising the might of the thermal pressure warhead which had been presented by himself while guiding the development and research of the weapon system. Upon his order of firing, red flame trails flew to the targets in succession to destroy them completely. Kim Jong-un said it is really a wonderful firing and continued. Of the portable laser-guided anti-tank rockets, this rocket made by our munitions workers has the longest range in the world. The hit is very correct, as if the targets are shot by a sniper's rifle. The armor penetrating capacity and destructive power are surprising. Even the enemy tanks and armored cars are nothing but steamed pumpkins in front of our anti-tank guided weapon, though they have special compound armors and boost of developed mobility and striking power, Kim Jong-un said with a hearty laugh, expressing great satisfaction. He proudly said, This anti-tank rocket embraces the military strategic idea of the Workers' Party of Korea on the guerrilla warfare and most perfectly reflects my idea on making arms and equipment precise and light. As it is light, a small number of persons can carry it, and so it does not become a of the enemy, but can make a surprise attack on the enemy at any place, and it has precision and surprising power. Therefore, the weapon is a perfect Zuche based weapon suitable to the reality of our country. Through this Zuche based weapon alone, we can know how just our party's policy on making arms and equipment precise and light is. The combat and technical specifications of the anti tank guided weapon have definitely hit the goal set by the party, he said, and stressed the need to serialize mass production immediately and deploy them in multi layers at the front units and coastal defense units for powerful enemy tank and armored car hunting campaign in case of contingency. The scientists, technicians and workers who have developed and completed the weapon system have opened with a rolling gun report the prelude to the 70-day campaign of the munitions industry front to glorify the 7th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea with proud achievements in strengthening defense capabilities. I'm really encouraged, he said, and gave thanks to the scientists and technicians of the institutions concerned and munitions factory in the name of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party of Korea. Kim Jong-un said the National Defense Science Research the research sector and the entire munitions workers should more firmly arm themselves with the military strategic idea of the Workers' Party of Korea and in developing and manufacturing any weapon, concentrate all efforts on developing Tsuche type weapons suited to the terrain conditions of Korea and the constitution of the Korean service personnel in the Korean way, the only one of its kind in the world and he presented militant tasks to be carried out by the munitions industry front during the 70-day campaign and this year. He said the national defense scientists and munitions workers are shouldering the heavy yet honorable task to accomplish with arms the Korean revolution started with two pistols. 
He earnestly said they should firmly guarantee the will-be glorious future of the revolutionary cause of Zhuzhi with powerful defense capabilities. He warmly noted that the party firmly believes that the heroic munitions workers would firmly arm themselves with the revolutionary idea of the party, work hard under the banner of self-reliance and self-development, and make great successes in the strengthening of the defense capabilities, including the self-defensive nuclear deterrence.